I got a call from an entrepreneur the other day that was having trouble determining the value of their company. Specifically, the problem was that in this particular case, the company participated in a market space where there was just not a lot of information and, or, or, or history there. So they were having some real issues finding enough information to perform some of the typical valuation analysis, such as price to earnings or price to sales. What I recommended to them was that they lean more heavily on the discounted cash flows method. Ideally, you'd like to have as many methods as possible and come back to a value, but sometimes you just can't and you have to lean more heavily on some than others. What the discounted cash flow method does is it takes the cash flows that a company is expected to generate over a period of time, and by the way, this information should also be contained in the business plan, discounts them back to the present, and you're usually looking at three to five years out, minimum of three, sums them up and, arri and arrives at a value of your company. This method is mathematically a little more difficult than the price to earnings or price to sales ratio method. So if you're having some challenges or need some help, give us a call at the Capital Match Point. What we ultimately want to do is make sure that our entrepreneurs are as prepared as possible for, for when the time comes for negotiation.